And now, coming to you from the live music capital of the world, Austin, Texas, it's The Bling Johnson Show. Tonight's guest is Texas rocker Rod Williams. The house band is Lucas Cook and the Collection. Security provided by Bubba Incorporated. And now, from Central Texas, Harley Davidson, a man who has a higher opinion of himself than Equifax does, Lynn Johnson! Welcome to episode two of the Bling Johnson Show. And first of all, I just want to say thank you to Central Texas Harley Davidson for opening up their showroom to us. I'm Bling Johnson, this is my buddy Bubba, and these are all my friends right here. So give it up, everybody. Now, this is episode two of the Bling Johnson Show. And last week we had a great time, but I gotta tell you, who was all there last week? Anybody there last week? All right. Now, who is happy that it's a little bit cooler in here tonight? Everybody? Yeah. We, it was at least 115 in the shop last week. It was really hot, but I'll tell you what. I appreciate not only everybody coming out, but the staff of people, everybody that's just gotten behind us, including Central Texas Harley-Davidson, Uncle Billy's uh, Barbecue. Thank you for the beer last week and for the barbecue this week. And if you haven't been out to Uncle Billy's, be sure to go out to their location at the lake right next to the Oasis and also downtown on Barton Springs. Great food, great people, and we're really happy to be here. So we got a great show for you tonight. We're really excited. We have Texas rocker Rod Williams, and he just, that's right. Rod just got off tour with Sting in New Zealand along with Shelly Mack, so it's a real treat for you tonight. So, Bubba, uh, are you wore out? Are you tired? Okay, well, just go ahead and have a seat, man. We really don't want to hear you. Want any Uncle, would you like some Uncle Billy's beer? We got a little bit for you. All right, there you go. Uh, so, what we're going to do is, <laughs> is we're going to cut to a clip. So, what I want to tell you is we pulled in on Harleys. We're in a Harley dealer. Now, I'm not a poser, although a lot of people would disagree. Actually, I am a poser. I'm not going to try to fool anybody. But I got a Harley tattoo. I have, I'm on my third Harley, so I love Harleys. But I don't know if I really have what it takes to work in a Harley dealership. So to keep the show authentic, we came to Central Texas Harley Davidson and worked for a day and had the guys put me through the paces to see if I had what it takes to work at Central Texas Harley. So let's roll that footage and let's see if I got what it takes. make sure I understand this. You want to work here at Central Texas Harley? Yes, sir. Why would we hire you? Well, I'm a real go-getter, got a real positive attitude, and I'm ready, ready to go get started working here at Central Texas Harley. What do you think, Rick? I don't know, man. Come on, just give me a shot. I'll do a good job. Well, you can't work here wearing that shirt. Get him a shirt, Rick. All right. All right. I'm really looking forward to the opportunity, guys. I'm going to try you out on something that everybody gets to try here first. We're going to put you on the phones over here on the desk. Okay. It's real simple. Everybody knows how to answer a phone. You just need to say one line when you answer it. Thank you for calling Central Texas Harley Davidson of Brown Rock. How may I direct your call? Yo, Harley Davidson, what's up? Hey, what the f are you doing, man? I told you what the line is. Thank you for calling Central Texas Harley Davidson of Brown Rock. How may I direct your call? All right, fine. We'll try it again. Yo, Harley Davidson of Central. Dude, what are you doing, man? You keep screwing it up. All right, that's it. Come on. We're done here. <laughs> what I want you to do is I want you to get on the Central Texas Harley Davidson Facebook page here, and I want you to update some of the customer photos of the people who just bought their bikes here, because they love seeing their pictures put up there in the limelight. That seems pretty easy. No problem. I can do it. All right, I hope so. All right, thanks. Dude, what are you doing in here? What? I'm on myaustintv.com. I'm trying to find out what channel the Bling Johnson show comes on. Look, all the, all the cable providers are listed right there. Dude, you can do this on your own time. I told you you need to get on the Central Texas okay. Harley Davidson Facebook page. You need to get my customer photos uploaded so they can see. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I got it. I, I got told it. you the customers are first here, not Fine, you. Fine, I right got there. it. Man. Oh. She said, baby, I love 
up, man. What are you doing now, dude? What? I'm on RodWilliams.com. This guy's great. Have you ever heard of him before? God, dude. One simple test. Facebook. No, listen, listen. He just opened dude. for Sting. He's a great musician here in town. Yeah, I know he is, but that's not what you're supposed to be doing. You do this on your own time. You're out, dude. Come on. <laughs> Sir, here at Central Texas Harley-Davidson, we have a wide range of apparel. What? I think that looks great on you. Dude, what is it? You keep screwing it up. Plenty of chances now. I put you on the phone and you messed that up. I put you on Facebook. You couldn't get that right. You get dressed every day, so I figured you could sell clothes to somebody, but you try and sell a bunch of pink clothes to a guy? Really? You look good. Oh, it doesn't matter. You got one last chance. What are you doing, man, dude? This spot's over there in the wash bay. So obviously, dude, it's just not gonna work out. I don't not only see you working here, I don't see you working in this town again, brother. Whatever. Yeah, whatever, nothing. Go ahead and take that shirt off and bring it. You know what? That's fine here. with me. Wouldn't want to have to work for you anyway. Yeah, why don't you go back over to your Let's Get Famous shop and work for I don't know who, but he says baby, I need you. So it's pretty clear, it's pretty clear that I may not be working at this dealership anytime in the near future, but these are great guys. Let me introduce to you the owner and one of my good friends that made all this happen, Rick and Andre. Come on in, guys. Give them a hand. What's happening? I know how you do. I know how you roll, man. Thanks. Now get on either side of me, fellas. All right. Come on on this side. Oh, hey. Now. Incredible bubble. So obviously I may not be working here anytime soon. You rode me a little hard back there, right? Well, you did slack off a little bit. <laughs> well, I was here for entertainment. You know, you were actually trying to put me to work. Well, you said you wanted to work. I did, I did, until I got here. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> that's right. So thanks, guys. I appreciate you having us out here tonight. Absolutely, man. We really appreciate you being here. And, I, and I'm going to tell you something. When we decided to come on board with you, there's one thing I told you. I'd give you the shirt off my back. You did say and that. And I literally mean that. And uh, as a representative of Central Texas Harley-Davidson, we'd like to make you an honorary crew member. Hey, all right. I actually get the shirt? And I'm giving you the shirt off of my Now, back. now we're talking. This is cool. And, you, you, and just so you know, I made myself Hey, look at his shirt there. Check it out. Let's get famous customs. I'll tell you what, I'm going to wear this the rest of the show. Thank Thanks you. a lot, man. We appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks for everything. Appreciate coming out. Thank oh, you, man. I'm Thanks, giving you a hug. Get over here, man. Thanks a lot, guys. Give it up for Central Texas Harley Davidson. Thanks. All right, so once I put my shirt on and we come back from this commercial break, we are going to introduce you to Texas rocker Rod Williams, and we got some other surprises in store for you. So thanks for watching the Bling Johnson Show. Watch these commercials because they're making this happen for us. And when we come back, we're getting famous. Thanks a lot, everybody. Here we go. Central Texas Harley-Davidson is a full-service Harley-Davidson dealership located in Round Rock, Texas, with a huge selection of Harley-Davidsons, including all the latest models, a wide variety of Harley clothing, a fully stocked parts department, and a top-notch service department, offering the latest in dyno tuning and nitrogen for your tires. Central Texas Harley-Davidson is also committed to giving the biker community what they want, the best rides and events throughout the year. So stop by and see us today at 2801 North IH35 in Round Rock, just off exit 254. You're probably environmentally conscious and already doing things like separating your recycled plastics from your garbage. But do you know what happens to those recyclable items once you've done your part? Currently, more recycled plastic is collected than can be used. Many times, the recycled plastic that's collected ends up back in landfills and the waste stream because there's not enough demand. Reflex Packaging has developed cushions to protect sensitive items during shipping using recycled plastic. 
Environmentally conscious companies are already using this packaging like Taylor Guitar and Seagate to reduce their carbon footprint. For more information, find us on Facebook and visit reflexpackaging.com. to the person who had a lot to do with me being here tonight. Everybody give it up for my dad. Oh, no, 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 wait. He's not, I don't, yeah, he't he's not my dad. I don't me. want to spoil all the fun, man. <laughs> what do we got? I, I know you got a big surprise, but I'm going to tell you what, right here in the middle of the filming of the show, a guy just bought, a, of all bikes, a burnt orange Harley Davidson. Yes, a burnt orange Harley Davidson. Hey, and this is not a put on. This actually happened. We did not make no, this up. No, so look. If I could get everyone to put their hands together for Xavier, he just bought. Yeah! Xavier, ring the bell, ring the bell! Xavier, go ahead and ring that bell, brother. Ring that ring bell, bell, ring it! Yeah! All right! Thank you, brother. I appreciate hey, it. Hey, thank man. you. Thanks for everything. Thank you, sir. All right, now, back to the show. The person responsible for bringing me into this world, my dad. Dad, come on up, dad. Come on. Come on around. So, Dad, first of all, I want to thank you for getting Mom pregnant a few years ago. That was really nice of you. And I know what he's about to do. What he's about to say is, I did the hard part. Yeah, we know. Okay, we get it. Now, uh, every week, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Mom. I know you're right there. <laughs> My mom's on the front row, by the way. So every week, we do something where we give back, and we give back tattoos. Every episode, somebody gets a tattoo. Toby is my tattoo artist that did my microphone. He did the Cadillac. Come on, Toby. Good to see you, man. Toby works at Atomic Tattoo here in town. All their locations are a supporter of the show, and we appreciate that support. But my dad wants to get a tattoo. Something military themed? Yeah. So let's, let's show him what you got so far. He has something so far right here, and you, we're going to get something added to that. Okay. Uh, okay. He's like, <laughs> hey, you want to get a unicorn since you're so agreeable? <laughs> All right. So, Toby, why don't you take my dad, head on down to Atomic Tattoo, where they're officially licensed and sanctioned to do that kind of work, and go ahead and get him a tattoo. Is that cool? That's cool, me. All right. Thanks, man. Let's, let's head on down to Atomic and see what happens. <laughs> on episode two. You ready for another tattoo? Ready. All right, now there's nothing cooler than getting your dad to go to the tattoo shop with you. So, Dad, are you excited about this? I'm excited, man. All right, so my dad, here's the cool thing. He was 82nd Airborne in the Army back before I was ever born, and so he wanted to get something representing that time of his life, and there's nothing cooler than the military, in my opinion. So show him what you're getting. Come on up to the camera here. He's getting 82nd Airborne. How long has it been since you got your last one? <laughs> that long? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, 1970. You weren't even born yet, Toby. No, I wasn't. Either was she, either were you. <laughs> <laughs> now, we ran into one of our friends. This is Melissa. How you doing, Melissa? Fine. I met her at the tattoo convention. She became a fan of the show. Great person. And uh, you just got a tattoo tonight, didn't you? Right there, right yeah. there. Dude, that's cool. Now, what does that mean? It means the ultimate truth. You've turned into a pretty good friend over the past few months. We appreciate you watching the show. But more than that, I think there's more heart behind that. And I appreciate all your nice comments over the past few months. Thanks, Blake. So, Dad, you're in the Airborne back in what year? 69 through 72. So, you used to hitchhike all the way back to Michigan to see Mom way back then, didn't you? She wasn't Mom then. <laughs> well, I was just my girlfriend. And where were you stationed? Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And you used to go back all the way to Michigan, right? Mm hmm. Was yeah. it worth it once you finally made it back to see her? Absolutely. <laughs> you're here, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you were at the wedding. <laughs> oh. I wanted to get one with me, with Cupid, on one of my butt cheeks, <laughs> shooting an arrow into her butt cheek <laughs> with a, a heart receiving the arrow so we that. could put our butts next to each other. <laughs> and you could take a picture and see Cupid with the... <laughs> 
But no, she didn't. She didn't quite go along with that. <laughs> Alright, do you like it? I like it a lot. Alright, well Toby, thank you very much. As always, Toby is going to be back next week on the Blink Johnson Show to give another guest a tattoo. Thanks, Dad, for everything you've done for me in my life, for serving in the military. And let's head back to Central Texas, Harley Davidson in Round Rock, Texas. Oh. Now my first guest is Texas rocker Rod Williams, and let me just tell you a little bit about Rod. He's been in the music scene for a while. He just opened for Sting and Shelly Mack in New Zealand, just got off an endless summer tour there. He's played with Chris Daughtry, Matchbox 20, he's played with, uh, uh, been produced by Grammy Award winning producers and has a brand new CD out called Something Real. So let me introduce to you Texas rocker and my friend Rod Williams, everybody. Baby. How you doing? I'm good. All right. Now I'm going to have you have a seat, but as we talked about in episode one, these chairs I acquired off Craigslist and they were behind an adult establishment. Okay. Now they were free, but we do like to make sure everybody's safe and clean. So we'd like you to just wipe off your, your chair if you don't mind. You can grab one of those and I'll wipe mine off just to be safe here. You never know what kind of problems we've had back there. And there we go. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, he's spending some time. Bubba thought these chairs looked familiar, so I don't know what that means. Have a seat. So Rod, you've been in the music scene. Actually, when I get serious, I take off my glasses. Sometimes I forget, it's so I can stare into your eyes. Um, so you've been playing music for quite a while. Tell us a little bit about what you've been up to. Well, you know, I've, I started off um, in the corporate world in about 2002. I said, I can't do this anymore sold a company and decided that I was going to pursue my passion, kind of like what you do. Yeah. All right. Now, your song, your song tonight is something that is, is one of the coolest songs I think I've ever heard, and it's called Warrior. What is Warrior about? Well, it's, it's a lot bigger than what I can say. Um, Warrior is about our soldiers that are coming home with physical in, in, you know, injuries and PTSD. Um, literally, they're going to battle every day when they come home. I have played for Purple Heart recipients that 250 of them with missing limbs and things that are just unspeakable. And uh, those are hard shows, but the song we use to raise funds and awareness for the Wounded Warrior Fund, um, helping at hero.org, um, Impact the Hero um, and the Wounded Warrior Project. And uh, we have been successful in, in raising the awareness because when they come home, who's looking after them? Is our government or do, are we having to really go out there and say, don't forget about these men and women? And these are moms and dads. And I, I've met just incredible men and women that have put their life on the line, they're much more courage than a guy up playing guitar on stage having fun. This is real courage, and the courage isn't just in the battlefield, it's every single morning when they get up. Um, their suicide rates are off the charts like never, and so we need to you know, look out for these men and women because they looked out for us. They did, and Rod is being pretty humble about it, but this song has been played on a lot of military radio. It's been kind of an anthem for a lot of our men and women that are coming home injured, uh, and it's been a really good kind of lift me up. I mean, yeah, you kind of say you're just a guy playing a guitar having some fun, but it means something, and music is a way, I believe, to really connect with people of all ages in all different kinds of situations. And man, I gotta tell you, I appreciate you writing that song, and I appreciate you performing on our show tonight. So thanks a lot. When, when we come back, now when we come back, we're gonna have a special presentation and then Rod Williams and, and the 1099s are gonna perform Warrior. So give it up for Rod, everybody. All right. How long has it been since you've been out to Oasis, Texas on Lake Travis? The brand new Uncle Billy's Brew and Q is open for business as Austin's newest destination. Located right next door to the Oasis, Uncle Billy's brews their own beer on site, has the best barbecue in Texas, 
and has free stories of scenic views overlooking Lake Travis. So grab some friends and come on out to Uncle Billy's on Lake Travis and enjoy great food, great beer, and songs off Rod's brand new CD, Something Real. Central Texas Harley-Davidson is a full-service Harley-Davidson dealership located in Round Rock, Texas. With a huge selection of Harley-Davidsons, including all the latest models, a wide variety of Harley clothing, a fully stocked parts department, and a top-notch service department, offering the latest in dyno tuning and nitrogen for your tires. Central Texas Harley-Davidson is also committed to giving the biker community what they want, the best rides and events throughout the year. So stop by and see us today at 2801 North IH35 in Round Rock, just off exit 254. She had been rather silent since the last time she'd seen him. Heartbroken for love, all regret. All right, and we're back. Before we have Rod Williams perform his song, Warrior, I wanted to bring up who I consider to be a true warrior. How many of you out there have served in the military before? Who all has served? All right, we have a lot of military personnel here. Okay, we have something for you. This is my friend Christina. And some of you may have heard that on Memorial Day, a soldier by the name of Anthony Dunn was killed in Afghanistan on Memorial Day. That was her son, okay? Anthony was a good kid. He was 19 years old, and he was over there serving our country. And Christina has been watching our videos on YouTube for a couple of years. And when I heard about this through Jason Bagby, one of my friends, let me know about it. Uh, we did a little poster and kind of since I, I met up with you at a McDonald's parking lot and gave that to you on the day that the body was received. And I got to tell you, I've never been more humbled in my life. When we had this TV show deal get put together, I wanted to have you come out. And what we did is we got you an award. And I went out and picked this up. This is what we're calling the Bling Johnson Ultimate Eagle Award. And this has your name on it, it has Private First Class, Anthony Nunn, and it has today's date. And we want to present this to you. I just wanted to present this to you because your son gave the ultimate sacrifice. But to be honest, everybody, she's the one that has to live with it every day after that. And I just feel like you are you deserve to be honored, and I appreciate your courage and your friendship. Give it up for Christine, everybody. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We're going to let Rod play Warrior and finish up the show. Thanks, Christina.
sacred where you stand Warrior, there is no way to thank you for the lives we borrow Ever take the measure of a man But when we lose inside of you